Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel from today'siPhone.com, and today I'm doing an app review of Opera Mini. Opera Mini is a web browser that is designed for speed. It just was released into the App Store this morning or last night-ish, you know, depending on where in the world you live, where in the world Carmen San Diego is, um, which should be San Diego, just just winging it there. That could be where she is. So let's give it a try and see is Opera really worth the free price tag. Okay, when you first launch the browser, here is what you're going to see. And this is like, you know, your your home page. You can add different pages. So let's say, watch my phone. Two days, iPhone, oh. And you can see it's adding there and you know you can edit all these but these are all um, websites obviously <laughs> and I'm on edge by the way and so there you go you get today's iPhone so you got a little screen cap click on it and it's going to take you there and so what's happening right now is it's sending it through Opera's servers and look at that it loads it up pretty speedy if you ask me now as you can see it loaded the mobile version, but if you want to, just like on Safari, you can scroll down and turn off the mobile thing. But here's the user interface. You got bookmarks, history, start page, which I just showed you, save pages, which is interesting. You see, I put these save pages in already, and you can load them if you're offline. It would definitely be helpful, I think, for um, an iPod Touch user. You can load your pages before you run out of uh, you know, Wi-Fi, when you're in a Wi-Fi range save them and then when you want to go to them it loads it saves you know the loaded page you can't like click around and stuff but you can you know read so like if you're gonna read a story or something I don't know do they have stories on the line they have everything online so if you're gonna read that stuff you just save it beforehand then when you're on the plane trip or whatever you can read your pages which is nice um you have settings settings there we go you have load images on, image quality high, font size small, you can do small, medium, or large. Mobile view, which puts it in like stacks, which I don't think many iPhone users are going to like because, here, let me show you it. Change. It's kind of, let me go to a page. Oh, so it's going to reload the save page anyway, so. See, it puts in these little stacks and it's kind of like not viewing on an iPhone because you know it's not it's it's like you're viewing it on something that's old so I don't think people are gonna like that stacks kinda it's like a, a mobile device I want my iPhone to look like a real computer so I'm gonna turn off mobile view because I don't like it full screen which I like on but you can leave it off I almost hit the home button so change that and it's gonna reload and let me show you. Full screen is just this little bar on the bottom. I like to leave it off because I like the bar to go away. So settings, full screen on. Opera link, I don't know what that does, but I don't care. See, with full screen, it these, this is all that's left. And then you tap that to get your stuff. So let's go back to these things, see if there's any more. And then you got find it a page, which is helpful. Like, and phone look see phone dog and I'm pretty sure you can probably just scroll through the page let me see find a page yeah see it's gonna take you all the places next where there is phone it's quite a bit because of the phone size so that's kind of useful alright so that is the settings and you have help so um then you have this thing for loading new pages and you just hit plus and you can either use one of your home pages or you can use you know this little guy and type out one thing I don't like about this is there's no pinch and zoom you either got that or that I mean there's no deciding what size um, Yahoo kind of loads nice but it's kind of a 50 50 because sometimes you don't it don't load so nice like see when I turn it see this bugs me right here when I turn it it doesn't um, adjust right and so I'm getting these where I have to pan around now, even on mobile sites, which is really annoying to me. This is just kind of a bother to me. And there's no, like, you know, 
zoom out. You can't do that. So let me show you a cool thing about the search. When you search something, let me search. Uh, let's search iPhone. And of course, you know you can search. It's Google. But if you hit this little guy right there, you get go you can search Google, Amazon, eBay, or Wikipedia, which is cool. So like, if I want to say iPhone and Wikipedia, search it. Wham bam, is only searching Wikipedia. So as you can see, it's I think it's faster. But let's see, let's put that to the test. All right, I'm gonna load up today's iPhone on both web browsers at the same time. Um, Opera Mini is on the left, and today's iPhone is on the right, and they are both running Edge. That was pretty quick, but Safari actually won, which kind of shocked me because you know Opera Mini is supposed to be faster. So let's try Yahoo. All right, so Opera wins that one, and I did one more test, and Safari lost big time. I did it for um, Phone Dog, and yeah, like I said, Safari was beaten down. I just didn't put it in because it took so long for Safari to process it for some reason. All right, let's get to the basics. Pros and cons. Pros, it's faster than Safari for sure. Um, you get this cool full screen mode, which I like. Uh, you get all the cool search like I showed you before. You can choose your different engine. There we go. Um, what else? You got the cool home screen. Where is it? Home, yeah, right here. Your start page. You have a cool, the save pages is nice. Find on a page is nice. All those are nice. Um, now, for cons, it has some page rendering issues. Definitely. Uh, like, here, let me show you one that happens a lot. Load up today's iPhone.com. It's a mobile site. It's finished loading. Well, you're finished loading. And you, when you turn the phone sideways, you get that stinking, you know, it doesn't fill it up. It, and that bugs me. And, you know, there's just, a, it doesn't render pages as nice as Safari. Um, another one is if there is a, vid a YouTube video, like here, video app review, driver's ed app. Done by Alex. Load it up, and you, there is no way to view them that I can see. Cause you, it just you know you can't see it, and even on full HTML sites, you still can't see it. And there's no no way to view the um, YouTube content without going on Safari. Um, also, another one that bugs me is if you scroll down, kind of you know low you can't press this bar to go up it doesn't do anything which I use a lot on Safari so those are my pros and cons pros being you know it's fast number one and cons probably being the rendering issues number one for me I have an iPhone and I want to act like an iPhone not like a Windows Mobile 6.5 phone so that is my review definitely go check it out it's free it's fast and you know it if you don't care what your pages look like, definitely keep it. But go try it out. And then after you go try it out, tell me what you think on today's iPhone.com.